Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having an automatic transmission and you want to know where is the uh, filter for the transmission fluid in your transmission. Let's say you remove the oil pan and you don't see a filter. Stay with us, we'll explain where it could be and what needs to be done to replace the filter on some transmissions. It's not as easy as it used to be back in the day. Now, uh, also one common mistake people make, okay, when working on the transmission, stay with us, we'll explain what it is or even if they don't, touch it at all they can they can make that simple mistake but no, not doing anything to it so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy transmission fluid parts tools for your car for great price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have here specifically guys this is a six speed automatic transmission that we have right here we drain the transmission fluid which is right here remove the oil pan okay and we didn't see any transmission filters all we saw was right here that thing was inside the transmission and that's the valve body with the shifting solenoids we removed it as well now on some transmissions all we have to do drain the transmission fluid remove the open bam the filter is right there and you can simply replace it put new gasket on the open okay change the transmission fluid now common uh, common problem right here is that some people do not change their transmission fluid at all check out how nasty that one is that black contamination it's dust okay and wear from the clutches moving parts and that dust actually can accumulate in the valve body and the shifting solenoids and that can destroy the transmission slowly another thing that dust guys will start eating the clutches even faster in the moving parts because it turns into kind of like a fine paste so it's very important to change the transmission fluid on modern vehicles uh, check your manual specifically for yours but this one says 50,000 miles and in my opinion in some cases you may need to change it up to three times okay we'll explain why uh, because <coughs> when you drain the transmission you'll get only about 50 to 60 percent of the fluid but the rest guys is still in the torque converter different uh, different holes in the transmission that you won't be able to access and uh, then add transmission fluid to the necessary level drive the car for a little bit I would recommend 100 miles drain it again do that three times the change the transmission three times and you'll replace about 90 percent of the fluid in your transmission that way also always use original transmission fluid i don't know how important that thing how to make it stick in your mind but using the wrong type of transmission fluid in modern transmissions will actually damage the transmission if not flushed on time and it can destroy it and can start shifting her shuddering uh slipping and all that stuff now where is the filter let's talk about that and why it's important to change the fluid more often on this specific transmission you have to remove the valve body once you remove the valve body you get to the clutch pack here the drum and all that stuff but if you look underneath guys right there okay that's your filter okay and you're like okay i can change it right you can pull it out maybe and come back, come out but here it's holding by another aluminum casing so we cannot get to it and if you come right there okay you will notice that inside there is two bolts holding that filter and the only way to access these two bolts and remove the filter is to remove the transmission out of the car guys separate the bell housing from the transmission and come out from the other side so yeah complicated right it's not worth it guys okay unless the transmission is for rebuild that's why i'll change my transmission oil more often some transmissions you cannot replace oil filter on some it's super easy all you have to do remove the uh, drain the oil remove the oil pan and it's right there but on modern transmissions it's often okay not replaceable i've noticed that quite often nowadays hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you guys next time